What's going on guys, Jeff here, Mad Hatter's Reef, and today we're going to be receiving a shipment of fish. I'm going to show you the process in which if you order fish online, how you would go about receiving that. And we're also going to talk about some subjects surrounding the whole receiving fish through the mail. So let's jump into it. All right, so we got our shipment here. And the first thing that we're going to do to kind of kick this off is obviously inspect the health of the animal as it was received. Take a look at it. And then as soon as we determine that the fish is in good health, we are going to put it into the tanks for temperature acclimation. The fish that we're gonna focus on for the content of this video is going to be the white tail. The white tail is a absolute beautiful tang. And the reason I'm gonna focus on this one is because it's a larger species and it's definitely a pretty one to look at. So uh, one of the first things that we're gonna grab is a bucket. I use the two gallon buckets. I like these quite a bit for uh, acclimating fish. It's manageable, especially when you have a lot of different fish. If I if I was doing this at home, I think any bucket really will do, but workable, has a handle, holds water, is gonna do the trick. Now one of the first things that I focus on when I get a shipment in is I individually take a look at every single fish, make sure that they're in good shape, make sure they're healthy, make sure they're not super stressed out. And I will definitely put together a video to show you the way that I handle a fish that is not in good shape that you just received during a shipment in a future video. So if you want to be on the up and up on that one, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified when that video is released. So if everything checks out, fish looks good, it's time to float them in whatever tank that you are going to be adding them to. Hopefully you're adding them to some type of quarantine tank and not just adding them directly to your display tank. And after about 15, 20 minutes, I'm going to start the acclimation process. So there's two different schools of thought when it comes to how you go about acclimating your fish. Uh, one is gonna be for, like if you're buying fish at a local fish store, bring it home, maybe you're driving 30 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour home, and then you acclimate the fish that way. The other being, having your fish shipped to you overnight the fish is in the bag for 24 hours and what happens when you open that bag and that major difference being is what happens in the bag when you open it up so the bag has been closed off for 24 hours or so and the ph is super low as soon as you open that bag the ph skyrockets up and the ammonia becomes toxic to the fish almost immediately so your goal when you have a fish shipped to you and you open that bag is to get it out of that shipping water as fast as you possibly can but acclimate that fish to your water so we touched on temperature temperature being very important when you are acclimating a fish to your aquarium especially in a shipping situation also the next most important thing to pay attention to is salinity you want to make sure that you are matching the salinity of the shipping water with whatever tank that you're putting the fish into and this is going to drastically cut down the time that it takes to acclimate the fish. So one thing that I've done to kind of cut down the overall stress and the things that I have to do when receiving a fish is reaching out to the vendor and figuring out what salinity they ship their fish at. So for those of you that use specific gravity, that is going to be about 1.020 to 1.022. And for my folks that use the much easier salinity, which is parts per thousand, that is between 29 and 31 and a half parts per thousand. So long story short, they ship the fish at a lower salinity, and this is to keep the fish hydrated during shipping. So a product that I use quite a bit to acclimate fish to an aquarium is the Innovative Marine AccuDrip. This is the product right here. We have taken a look at this on the Corals Unlimited channel. So if you want to take a look at that video, there's going to be a link in the description below. So this is the AccuDrip unboxed. And there's two different things that I do with this are two different modes that I use when I am acclimating fish. So if I was acclimating fish from the local fish store, the fish has only been in the bag for about 20 minutes or so. Um, I'm going to use this wheel valve to control this and have a drip come out of the end that's going into the bucket. This portion right here goes into the tank, the YouTube, so it hooks in really well. And then you can start your siphon with this ball valve here. Major adjustment that I make when I am acclimating a fish that has been shipped to me is I take the wheel valve off completely and I just run it a straight siphon with the AccuDrip for about 30 minutes tops. So another product that's worth mentioning is Seachem Prime. Uh, this is a binder of ammonia. So in the event that the fish comes in super stressed out and you want to take a little bit more time acclimating it, uh, this is something that I'd probably go to. I also use this in my quarantine tanks. 
uh, to neutralize ammonia, NO2, and NO3, so it is not toxic to fish at any point in time. I find that that is extremely beneficial and something definitely worth having in the bag of tricks as a fish keeper. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes and we had just enough water in the line to be able to get that transferred to here. And now all we're simply gonna do is get them in the net. And cooperate with us or not. He's a bit skittish, a bit skittish, but we have successfully added him to the tank and hopefully uh, he is nice and healthy, settles in a little bit. It's been a while since I've had a tang that is that nervous, but we'll kind of leave him alone and let him settle in. One thing I do quite a bit when I first add a fish to the tank is the, the first day, we don't feed them at all. Uh, we just kind of let them settle in. Most of the time, they're not going to eat anyways because they're too stressed out. All right, so I want to hear from you guys. What have been some of your successes with acclimating fish to your display tank or quarantine system? Or what are some of the stories that you have not had success with your acclimation process? If there's been something in this video that you have found helpful, make sure you hit that like button. And I got one, one more thing to show you. So this right here uh, is a very good example of a crude quarantine system. So in the event that you don't have a tank to quarantine fish, uh, it is still possible. So all we did was take a sponge filter, we got that in there, uh, we got a air pump, you see our acclimation device, and a container heater, ready to go. Uh, with the use of the Prime like we just talked about, uh, we can successfully quarantine a fish and in the tank it's going to be hard to see pick them up a little bit but we got a hybrid powder blue in and if you guys know me have listened to the podcast have been on this channel for any length of time uh, you know that this is an absolute favorite of mine and i haven't had a lot of success with it uh, but what i have found with these barrels is that the fish is super uh, peaceful and kind of just easy going and they settle in really really easy i've almost gotten this guy already which he came in super fat super fat uh, to eat out of my hand i had that little bit of nori that was right here and i was kind of holding it in the tank and uh he was thinking about it but he's only been here for a couple hours and he's doing really really well very happy uh, with where we're at with this fish and hopefully we can get him added to a tank here uh, pretty soon. But we do need to make sure that he's healthy, make sure that he's not going to get our other fish sick. And hopefully I will be adding him to a display tank here at the store.